I had a way then to sing it all on my own. I had a heart then. Hey guys, Dominator666. Today's video, I'm going to do a remake of my old video of how to you know, put a mod menu CSC file into the NopDat RPF as the quality on my video completely sucked ass because my computer was screwed up and had to use my, um, my camcorder. So, I'm going to put links to some of these downloads in the description. Um, you're going to need the eBoot file of your choice, Blues, Blez, Kex, Dex, whatever. You're going to need the mod menu CSC, which I'm using Cranks, and I'll leave the link to that in the description. And the updat RPF I'm using is the 2.0 uh, of the VCA hacks. You can use any updat RPF, doesn't really matter. <clears throat> For today's sake, I'm just going to use that one. And you're also going to need Liberty V. Make a folder, name it unedited, put your eBoot, your mod menu, CSC, and your updat RPF in there, and then make another folder called Finished Menu. Open up Liberty V, click on PlayStation 3. Click open, go to the RPF, highlight it, and click open again. Now click the plus button, go to PS3, patch, levels, GTA 5, and then click on the script file here, and then come over here. And the one in the middle is the script file you're going to want. So double click on that, and it opens that file up. We then come down and find our mod menu CSC file which is right here highlight it right click it delete it yes I want to delete mod menu CSC okay now it's gone out of here make sure it's gone from here okay we're then going to right click to the right over here go in the middle of the the thing click right click import files now go to the mod menu CSC file that you have in your unedited menu, which is cranks here, and we're going to open that up, import it, and there you go. You are three quarters of the way done. Now that the new mod menu is in here, you're going to click save. Do not click save as, click save. Okay, we're going to save it. Yes, I want to save all changes. It's done. Now we're going to close that one out and come back into here into the regular updat RPF that we started. Now click on the minus sign. I don't think you actually have to do it, but I do it anyway. Click on the minus sign so it just says content XML and set up to XML. Now you're going to click save as. Now change the folder to the finished mod menu right here. Click it open it and then save you're done now you close that out everything's done in your updat RPF your new updat RPFs here we then are gonna take our eBoot we're gonna copy that and paste it into the finish menu okay so it's now in our finished mod menu now you're going to right click on that and rename it to eboot.bin. Boom, you're done. Now we then want to open up Multiman on our PlayStation. Okay, so go to your PlayStation, go to Multiman, open it up. Now I'm not going to switch over to my PS3 just because I, I got a really bad lag problem that I got to have fixed. So if anybody knows how to fix the lag in here, so it's not like a minute, you know, minute long lag from the system to the the um, computer, please hit me up in the comments section with your Skype so you can help me out. Okay, now that you're in Multiman, you're then going to open up Firezilla. Now you can use Multiman, you can use Rebug Toolbox or FTP Black Box, whatever FTP server you want to use. Just I, I just go to Multiman because I got to click the game after anyway. Now up here in the host corner, you're gonna type in your your IP address 192.168.1.110. Now yours will obviously be different than mine, so make sure you type in your own IP. 
Then click Quick Connect, and you're in here. Go to dev underscore hdd0. We go in there, then click on game, not games, game. Go to your GTA. Now, my I'm on the Blez version, so it's Blez 01807. If you're on Blues, it's Blues 31156. Enter that folder. Go into the USDIR folder in there. Now, come over here to the Finish menu and copy both the updat RPF and the eBoot bin. And we drag them into there. Now it's going to ask you if you want to overwrite it. Yes, I want to do it. Yes, I want to do it. Now, this is very important, guys. Look on the bottom here. It's transferring the files. Make sure you let this finish. If you don't let it finish, it's going to screw you up. Um, I had this problem before where this wasn't actually showing, and I, I just couldn't figure out why I couldn't get the mod menu working. Well, that was why. So now that it's finished, we're going to back out of the... Blez 01807 file, and then we're going to go to the install file of GTA. Okay? Now, you will not have this in here. So I'm going to delete it. Okay? You won't have it in yours. You're just going to see this. The USDIR, icon, ping, and the param SFO. Copy just the updat RPF. Do not take the eBoot with it. Just the updat RPF right here. And again, you're going to let it finish doing its course. <clears throat> okay. Now, once this is done, you're then going to go into the USDIR folder. And again, you're going to take your updat RPF, just the updat RPF, drag it in there. Now, I can't remember if there was one in there to begin with, but if there's not, just put it in. If there is, overwrite it. Okay, and again, let it run its course. Once this is done, you're completely done. All you got to do is load up GTA. Let's finish this. Okay, it's finished. You can close this out. You're then going to want to load up GTA. Okay, and once you're in GTA, you open up your freeze patcher. You press, where's the freeze patcher? Go to your freeze patcher, open it up, click on CCAPI, TMAPI, whatever you are, whoops, select the region, hit connect, connect to your console. <clears throat> okay, now once you're connected to your console, you're going to start going online. You're going to get to that black screen where it says quit, are you sure you want to quit, uh, blah, 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 I'll save data, whatever the fuck else. Okay, as soon as you are there, you are going to click patch. You're going to see patch menu freeze addresses, and then you click X and load up GTA 5. And once you're in the lobby, pull up your phone, go to the mail section, click X, and then you're going to see the menu pop up. Back out of the phone and click L1 and R1 at the same time, and that will open up the menu, and you are good to go. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, hit me up in the comments section below. Uh, if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe, like, and share this video so that I can um, you know, get a little bit more recognition and get out there and grow. Um, also, please, if somebody knows how to fix an Elgato so that there isn't a literal minute and a half lag in between the system and the uh, computer, please hit me up in the comments section with your Skype so you can help me out because I really want to fix this. I know there's going to be lag, but a minute and a half is a little bit ridiculous. Thanks a lot, guys, and hope you have a good day.